Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at Chrome by Google for the iOS platform. iOS you might say, that's right, it's here. Chrome has been available now on the desktop for a fairly long time, at least a couple of years, and on the Android platform in beta, at least for about six months. It actually just came out of beta yesterday at Google I.O., which is also where they announced the iOS version. Uh, that's for both iPhone and iPad, so pretty big news. Let's go ahead and load it up and take a look at it. So the first thing you see when we load it up is this is Chrome. It's what you're used to. So if you've been using it on the desktop or especially on an Android device, you're already used to what this looks like. So that's very cool that they were able to port that design over and make sure that it's really consistent in what you're used to. So one of the coolest features of Chrome obviously is the tab system. And you can see at the top it looks exactly the same. Um, so you click on that middle button there. I know you can't see my finger, but you click on the, the new tab button and it opens up. So we'll close that. And then probably the coolest feature of mobile Chrome is the syncing of your tabs from other devices. So if you have tabs open on your desktop and on your laptop and on your mobile device, as long as you sign in, Chrome is going to sync them between all those devices so you can access them. So if we open up a new tab and click down on other devices at the bottom, you can see all those other devices that are loaded up there. So that's just a really awesome feature that it syncs those up. I would say that's probably the coolest feature of Chrome. Um, but another cool feature is the side swiping. So if we open up a couple of other tabs here, let's load up a web page. Right at the verge. You can see that the uh, swiping for it, which again you can't see, but if you drag off the from the side of the screen, the edge of the screen, and slide your finger over across the screen, it's going to let you slide between tabs really easily, real quickly. So on the on the iPad, that's a pretty cool feature. But on smaller devices, phones like uh, the iPhone and obviously your Android smartphones, that's a really cool feature because it lets you move between tabs quickly just by sliding your finger from the edge of the screen, which is where your thumb is at most of the time. So that's very cool. Uh, the rendering time on here is pretty good. My internet connection is somewhat slow, so it's hard to show off. Um, but it is, as far as I can tell, about as fast as mobile Safari. Um, there might be a little bit more choppiness compared to mobile Safari, but not too bad. And Verge is sort of a tough website to load anyway, so that's not too bad. Um, the only other thing worth mentioning is that there is no flash on it, which is not a big surprise because there's no flash on iOS and there's no flash in the Chrome mobile browser and there's also going to be no flash in Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. So it looks like flash, as far as a mobile platform, is pretty much at the end of its days. Um, time to move on to HTML5, red or not. So anyway, that is mobile Chrome for, Safari, or for um, iOS. It's really good, and if Chrome is your favorite browser, you're probably going to want to go ahead and get it. It's free in the, in the App Store, and go grab it. Thanks. Bye.